Not bad for machines 12 years older than the World Wide Web. Durability was a chief concern during Voyager's planning. There are many unknowns in a mission of this magnitude. To get to Jupiter, both Voyagers would have to pass through the asteroid belt. Scientists once believed that this region would shred apart any spacecraft that tried to pass through it. However, Pioneers 10 and 11 had previously been able to pass through the asteroid belt, which emboldened Voyager's team to repeat the stunt. However, failure would have meant disaster before the probes had even reached their first target. Luckily, both probes made it through the asteroid belt unscathed, and we now know that it is mostly empty space thanks to them. Even with all these successes, and with the probes performing far better than their engineers could possibly have hoped for, as the two spacecraft traveled through the vastness between the planets, there was still at least one more hurdle to cross. What would happen to the probes in the extremely cold temperatures of interstellar space? NASA installed multiple heaters to keep the machinery operational, and the less as the probe's power waned, NASA had to turn off some of their heaters to conserve energy. When the cosmic ray detector's heater was turned off two years ago, its temperature plummeted by 70 degrees Celsius. Needless to say, sending a repair team 23 billion kilometers into space isn't an option. So, everyone thought the instrument would break, but it continued to run smoothly. The fact that the probes have operated so well for 45 years is a testament to their resilience and engineering. But with all this technology, what did they see?